Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area, specifically how we can find the area of a rectangle, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So first let's de define this term here. Area, what we're talking about with area is we are talking about the square units, and we literally are talking about squares, square units that cover the inside. That's going to be important because the perimeter is the outside. That's the sides on the outside. But the square units that cover the inside of a shape, that is the area. And so you see we have a green rectangle outlined really lightly on this grid over here. And if I wanted to, I could count all the squares. I can just start counting one, two, three, four, five. But you know what? That is a lot of counting. Let's see if we can do this a little bit smarter. I notice that that is going to be five in a row because I've got five across this way. Let's see how many we have down. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got nine sets down. So what we could do is we could skip count by fives and we can see what we have. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So we would say the area of this one would be 45. There's two ways to write it. You would say units, and then that little two means squared, or you might say 45, and then you would just write out the word square units. But most of you notice that once you figured out how many columns there were, so there's five across this way, and then how many rows there were, there's nine up and down. Well, that just becomes a multiplication fact because this really is an array. If you look at area as an array, then it becomes kind of simple. Five times nine, well, that's going to equal 45. So let's look at another example. Sometimes you'll see an area problem like this. You have a rectangle and it's laying on top of the grid. So you can kind of see the squares behind it, but you cannot count the squares inside because they're hidden by the shape itself. But that's fine because we are going to remember what we learned from our last one. We're just going to count the rows and the columns. So let's see how many rows there are. I'm just going to put little tick marks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I want to, I can pretend there are eight rows going all the way across. I'm just going to write that eight right here. Now let's check our columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I've got twelve columns going up and down and eight rows side by side. So if I want, I could just multiply these two. And some of you might know eight times twelve as a fact. If you don't, I'm going to use the commutative property and I'm going to flip the order of my factors and I'm going to make it go up and down because if I don't know 8 times 12, I do know how to do 2 by 1 multiplication in third grade. So first we're going to multiply 8 times 2, that's going to be 16. We're going to carry the 1 into the 10th place. 8 times 1 is 8, add that 1 back in is 96. If you want, you can also do partial products. So it would be 8 times 2 is 16, and then this is a 10 because it's in the 10th place. 8 times 10 is 80. Either way, you're going to get your answer of 96 square units. I'm going to abbreviate that with square and then the word units. Let's look at one final example. So our last example today is going to look at a rectangle like this. And it looks kind of strange because as you can tell, someone was starting to draw in squares, but then they just ran out. And so all you have are squares that are covering the top row right here and then this right hand column. But that is still going to be enough for us to figure out what the area is because that's going to let us know how many rows and columns we have. So if we count our columns, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we've got 10 this way in our rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight rows, 10 columns, and so that is simply going to be our multiplication fact, 10 times eight, so that is going to be 80 square units.